the Christmas decorations go up around the neighborhood, I start thinking about ginger cookies. So that's what I'm going to make today. Thank you for watching the Chickpea channel. This is Trisha speaking and David from Living Tech behind the cameras as usual. So there are levels of nutrition um, for different types of sugar and coconut sugar would be one of the better ones but it's still sugar. So um, if we were being really well behaved, we would only go with the molasses, and there is molasses in this recipe which helps with the sweetening, but if you want it to be the super delicious ginger cookie that it is, um, I say um, splurge a little, go for the coconut uh, sugar. A lot of the other stuff, I would see the, say the rest of the stuff in this recipe is um, uh, positively good for you. First is the a vegan egg. So a vegan flaxseed egg is three tablespoons of water with a tablespoon of ground flaxseed and you let it sit. Do it first and then by the time you're going to add it to the rest of the batter it will be ready. One of the things about flax seeds is that um, it doesn't do well if it's in a see-through uh, container um, so whether it's the seeds or ground, you should try to find a bag that's maybe silver or a container like this that's black that's going to keep out the light. And um, I just, every week or so, whenever this runs out, I just grind some more whole flaxseed. These cookies, when you try them without a food processor, um, are a little bit more work. Not, not that much, honestly, it's just the coconut oil that isn't melted. You could try melting it ahead, but I haven't tried that. All right. So first thing into the food processor is what I just talked about, the coconut oil. Then I've got the infamous coconut sugar, quarter cup, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon salt. What I wanted to say was don't get confused between baking soda and baking powder. They're different things. Baking soda is the one that comes in a box that when it gets too old, according to the expiry date, you can use it um, for cleaning and for de-stinking things. Okay, so that's, that's what you want to use this time. I'm going to mix those first ingredients together before I add anything else. Now that the uh, first ingredients are nicely mixed together, we're going to put all the rest in. Two cups of almond flour, these are flourless uh, cookies. Almond flour means almond meal. So if you can't find this in the store or uh, you forgot to shop for it, you just take a bunch of almonds, uh, put them in your food presser, processor and make them into meal. That's the same thing as almond flour. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Don't cheat. If you can help it, get the real stuff. It tastes a lot better. Next, I'm gonna use the black, black strap molasses. Um, this is a whole food, a uh, healthy sweetener. This and dates are, are green light sweeteners, so um, they have full nutrition in them. Um, be because this is black strap, that it, it's darker and heavier than um, other types of molasses. That's the kind you want to use. I want one tablespoon of that, and I'm not going to freak out if I pour too much. In this household, we love the taste of ginger. Ginger is super healthy for you. Um, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. So um, I'm gonna write two teaspoons in the recipe for this of ginger, um, but I'm actually gonna use four teaspoons of ginger and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon is also really healthy. So um, if you are partial to cinnamon, then uh, Go ahead and add more cinnamon as well. We are just going to mix that all together. I just scraped down the sides at least once, get it out of the, the bottom there. In some food processors like this one, some of the stuff like the oil will get caught under the blade. So I just move the blade around a little bit, get it all, make sure it's all mixed together. Um, and I'm gonna add the flax egg, flax egg that we made at the beginning. Um, if, uh, if you added it with the rest of the ingredients, that's, that's perfectly fine. I was just waiting a little bit longer to get it nice and soaked in. You can basically tell when they're ready because they, it, it starts sounding a bit louder because they're, it's bumping around, stuck together. 
it's ready to go. So um, now we're just going to put, you can put uh, drop cookies, um, whatever size you want, obviously. When you put them on the pan, um, that's the size they're gonna be. These aren't spreading cookies. So um, uh, just go ahead with whatever shape you want. Um, I do them sort of like thumbprint cookies. You could try with a fork, but they're a bit gooey for that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put them out on the tray. They can be cute and little like that. You can make a big one if you know you want it for, a sh for your snack. It's as healthy as, um, except for the, the sugar, it's a bit of a cheat, but it's as, help as healthy as some of these en energy bites that, um, that I've been showing. Well, I've shown you one and there's lots of them. You can make a huge one for a snack. There's no raw egg, as you saw, so it's fine to cheat like when you were a kid. They're all ready for the oven. One thing I should mention is if you decide to go crazy cheating on these cookies, what you could also do is put out a plate of the coconut sugar and um, before when you were making balls, or at this point, um, either dip them in the sugar or just take some sugar, put them over top. I'm gonna skip those so that I can eat these more guilt-free. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to turn the oven on to 350 and bake these for 11 minutes and then uh, take them out. You don't, they're going to cook more. There's some after cook because there's nuts in them. So um, you're going to put them for 11 minutes and then leave them on the pan. Um, just put them on top of the stove or something to cool for five minutes. And then the rest of the cooling, hopefully you have um, one of those uh, uh, coolers, the cookie cooler, it's like a grid. Um, so put out your cookie cooler grid, take the whole, the whole thing of um, um, parchment paper and cool them on there the rest of the way. But the first five minutes, cool them on the pan and then they'll be perfectly cooked. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and sign up for notifications. Enjoy the cookies. I sure will.